Good morning, Las Vegas, and happy Father's Day to all of you wonderful dads out there, especially mine, who I know is watching. I'm Elizabeth Gadley, in for Victoria Spillabody. The time now is, it is 6 o'clock on the dot. Uh, we start with breaking news this morning. A dozen people are waking up without a place to live right now after a fire breaks out in an apartment complex. Night one of the Electric Daisy Carnival is in the books. Insomniac predicts more than 140,000 people will pack into the Las Vegas Motor Speedway each night this weekend. The local school bus driver accused of molesting young children will be arraigned on charges tomorrow morning. A man is behind bars this morning charged with DUI and felony hit and run after hitting seven cars and a pedestrian, then trying to run from the scene. The senseless killings come at a time when there's a bitter rift between police and activists who have been protesting what they say is police brutality. We start our team coverage with ABC's Lindsay Davis on the scene in Brooklyn. If you haven't made plans for your kids this summer or maybe you're home with them but you need to change of pace, the YMCA is offering weekly summer camps and it's not too late to register. We go back up for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You, you know it's really bad when you see 105 and you think, oh, okay, oh, yeah. a little bit of relief. Oh. Yeah, just pining for that beautiful 105 degrees. It's never something that I honestly thought I would ever say. Good morning, Las Vegas, and happy Father's Day to all of you wonderful dads out there, especially mine, who I know is watching. I'm Elizabeth Gadley, in for Victoria Spillabody. The time now is, it is 6 o'clock on the dot. Let's get things started with the first check of the weather with Carlo Falco. Good morning, Carlo. Good morning, Elizabeth. Thanks, Carlo. Now to our top story this morning, a chilling look inside the mind of a mass murderer. A website linked to accused church shooter Dylan Roof shows a manifesto supporting white supremacy. Now you're looking behind me at a shot of the historic church. Sunday services are expected to start in just about a half hour. ABC's Steve Osunsami has more. The Electric Daisy Carnival is coming to a close, and so far, it's been pretty uneventful for our local officers. Night one ended with a handful of arrests and hospitalizations, which is pretty surprising considering there are more than 130,000 people out there partying in the heat. If you're headed out to the festival for the final night, stay hydrated. Organizers are providing free water, misting zones, and an air-conditioned room to cool off. Right now, fans are filing out of the venue at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway, hitting the road back to the valley. We're seeing here, this still doesn't look too bad. The worst traffic hit yesterday morning around 6, but like I said, once again, not too terrible right now. We will be keeping an eye on it for you as the morning rolls on. The extreme temperatures have a lot of folks hunkering down indoors to avoid the brutal heat. Action News reporter Brian Callahan has more on the heat and associated health risks. If you plan to spend some time outside today, doctors recommend you drink plenty of water and sports drinks or juices to stay hydrated. With the extreme heat here in the valley, people are looking to get away, even if only for a day. Many are heading to our local mountains as a good option.